eventually. Finishing all the final touches now. There's one day I plan on putting this bike in a custom modded motorbike show and see if it gets anything because there's not many custom modified electric motorbikes that get put into any of these kind of shows. Um, so what we've got is a solid mount bar clamp onto some Marzocchi triple eights that I sanded up back to bare aluminium and put in some accents and the, the bomber um, writing back in there. Um, running Shinkos, Golden Boys on tires front and back and large 223 rotors on there just to help with the braking with Shimano vented pads on the front, on the rear I'm running a E-Bikes thin disc with the Shimano vented pads also this bike has a egg rider um, it's got the stock mirrors on there custom made aluminium battery cap to suit the large light speed battery which is a 72 volt 40h um, for that i wrapped with some stainless perforated sheet to um, keep it a little bit more safe from anything that may bounce up off the road um, we're running the light speed BAC 8000 in there which I made up a custom scoop that still lets the air pass in the sides through the moths but protects the sides of the BAC um, and then I made a custom heightened subframe wasn't keen on the stock one, it was too low for me, just didn't have enough movement for the seat. So I made a long one and then I had to make a longer seat. So I cut up the old seat and lengthened that. I'm um, still not happy with it for my bony arse, so I put the pad on there. Um, I made this custom aluminium guard that has uh, two bolt holes there, so I can bolt on a rack if I ever go on any journeys. Um, and then I made a custom light holder for my number plate and tail lights because the stock one was horrible. Um, in here, I got a Rock Shocks RC2 shock because they're really cheap and very readily available. It is the shorter one. Um, I managed to put on there a Fox spring with a little bit of modifications, and that is a 600 by 3.25 Fox spring. And then because I lost a little bit of height, I wanted to get some back. I made a custom lengthened triangle, which picked me up a little bit more. And that's about four or five millimeters longer, the whole positions than this stock one that gave me the height back without having to mess around with the linkage arm itself. Um, then I run a, after many attempts to find the best chain, I went with a chain primary and I went with a um, 420 U-ring RK chain there. It's the only one that hasn't stretched and I will be doing that on the back as well. At the moment, that's just an RK chain on the back, 420, but well, I will definitely put a U-ring on. Um, I kind of like them, it's, they feel nice and beefy. Then I'm running a 64 tooth sprocket on there. with the stock guard, chain guard, which I made up a little bracket to modify to suit the lengthened swing arm. Because I also cut the swing arm, bang through the guts. You can vaguely see the well lines there. And um, put in 55 millimeters and plated it up. And plated up that side because there's just a lot of waffle in them. And yeah, I wasn't keen on that. Then, I made up a foot plate. This is probably one of my favourite mods out of all of them. Um, the comfort it gives on the bike itself, being able to move your feet around is great. Obviously it wouldn't be ideal 
if you are doing MX racing because you could probably get your foot stuck under it when you're leaning into the corners and sticking your foot out to get the um, the grip on the front wheel. But for what I do, it's perfect. It's good for sliding over logs and it's amazing for cruising around the streets and moving your feet around and moving around on the bike to stay comfortable. Then I made a custom 316 marine grade stainless steel bash guard. In there is a spar thermal fan and um, I will be testing that over the next week or two to see if it actually makes any difference. On the bike itself I will do a static test where I ride and get it up to heat and then put the fan on and see if it cools it faster than no fan. And I will also be doing a riding test um, so many speed runs to see what the temperature gets with the fan on and so many speed runs to see where the temperature gets with the fan off. Um, that's probably it. I'm currently set it at 22 kilowatts. Um, it's pretty hectic. I already flipped it today racing a Harley, so I'll have to watch that. Um, and that's even sitting at the front of the seat right on the tank. So, yeah, I'll definitely have to watch what I'm doing on it because it's definitely still flip happy even with the extended swing arm. But that's it now. It's practically nearly a, near completion. I'm going to. Um, Get a riser stem probably from amxq technique just to lift my bars up a little bit more and i'm probably going to get some nice brake levers um from i don't know yet but we'll have a look maybe it's prickly um just for the feel when i'm breaking but other than that it's all nice now i've put on all my little my little piping around the edge of everything to take off all the sharp edges um just for, for looks to make them smooth everything but also just um, so if you did ever have an accident you don't want to be um, hitting straight on to a edge of aluminium because it's three mil thick most of that other than the guard which is two mil of the base but yeah that's it I'm really really happy with how it's turned out and definitely definitely looking forward to in the future finishing all the little bits, giving it a nice little sand up and possibly putting it into a custom bike building show and see what happens and where it goes from there. I think it should do well because, well, yeah, there's not many bikes around and to be fair, there's not many of them are modified to the extent like this. Um, yes, yeah, it's pretty cool.